we're just really bad at bringing stuff back in mm -hmm. that we put in wife. the car. Yeah. Like I got a, a tote bag full of, you know, I don't know, beach towels or picnic stuff or whatever. And then like, oh, I guess this is the new picnic stuff spot like, <laughs> in oh the car. My gosh. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Good morning. There's uh, Menace. What is up, Woody? We have our newest full-time show member. It's uh, Gina Grad. Good morning. Seabass is here. We got Sammy. Good morning. Phones are open 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. You can also hit us up with a text over to 22987. Thank you to 469 texting over saying, definitely my morning show. Thanks. We are yours. Yeah. Oh, no, I appreciate nice. that. We, I tell you, we, uh, we've been getting a lot of nice texts already. It's still very early, but uh, yeah. this one says, 317, I love yeah. your show. You make me laugh, which puts me in an even better mood. Your bantering and weird topics are hilarious. Thank you for being the best <laughs> part of my morning. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So nice. Is that, is that to the... Are you reading our text messages? Yeah, I know. Is that from another yeah, show? Yeah, here's the one. 760. This all just came in. Okay. All, all, what I'm reading right here just came in within the last, like, 30 minutes. Really? Uh, hey, guys. Huge fan of y'all. Never missed a show. Woody just wanted to point out how awesome it is that every morning you say good morning to each person by name. Even the people who work behind the scenes, it really shows your appreciation for everyone who contributes to the awesomeness of The Woody Show, and it shows your true character. Wow, you really read into that. Wow. Huh? <laughs> uh, thank you all. It's uh, from Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. 302. I love The Woody Show. I listen every morning. Now that I live in my Jeep at the moment, I can put the radio on right away. Nice. I do have a job, but after I almost took my life... My family wants nothing to do with me. Oh, boy. Oh uh, it's in these times that I'm grateful for friends. I hope your friendships on the show are unique and that you look out for one another. But I can tell that you guys and gals are forever friends, and that's good to have. Take care. And if you read this on the air, just let people know that are thinking of taking your life that it really isn't worth actually trying it because, trust me, it's not worth the heartache you will cause on those who love you. <sighs> and trust me. I didn't realize how many lives I would have impacted if I actually had died that night. Wow. Yeah, right. I won't uh, put how I did it because it's not appropriate for the air. I, I apologize. This isn't what you guys want this morning, but I was typing this before I knew what you wanted. Uh, just want to relay that mental health isn't anything to play with. Yeah. So, wow. Uh, yeah, uh, we not the first time we've yeah. we've had people that uh, send these things and talk about like, oh, well, you know, just in the worst deepest mm -hmm. darkest true. place there's, and you know for what, like what like whatever whatever it was yeah uh that they heard on the show i mean because nothing here's important we talk about that all the time like guys it's like when people get really upset about what whatever it is that has to do with the show and then you gotta go it's not that important yeah yeah That's it's true. just Fun a radio show, show. Yeah. but i guess in that moment i mean greg you had some pretty dark oh, times incredibly dark times when we did that whole thing about uh the 10 questions that make you fall in love with somebody mm -hmm. right that we did with gina recently mm -hmm. Um, my, the thing I was most thankful for was being alive because I was right in those shoes where uh, this person t who texted in was in and it's everything they said is 100% true. Yeah. All the stuff you would have impacted, not worth it and and just try to do a 180 and, and, and accentuate the positive. It might take a minute, but yeah. you'll get there. Mm -hmm. Now, on a side note, Greg, mm -hmm. you did have an observation. You did see somebody who was living in their car. I did. That's interesting yeah. that this person says they're living <laughs> in their Jeep. Uh, saw somebody living in their car just the other day, and it was one of those cars that was so jam packed with stuff. Yeah, was it Gina's car? That they no, could... not right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, like not at a, the moment. It's like a hoarder inside yes. of a car. Yeah, it's and bizarre. The, the only possible place to sit was right mm. in the driver's seat, and that was it. Uh -huh. And that was oh, it. And, and you could tell this person's living in their car, yeah. but they have garbage mm. bags, bike tires. Uh, milk jugs that are empty, yeah. you know, cans, Odd. Uh, random T-shirts. Like, I understand having clothing, but if you're living in your car, why do you want to hold on to garbage? I know there's... Maybe, yeah, stuff is one thing. Uh -huh. Just stuff. But it, literal garbage. Literal garbage. I'm, Rappers. I'm, I'm, I'm talking a bike tire. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. bike tire. Uh, I see. Bike tire. You're not going to sell that. Yeah, Just I, get rid of it. I see a car like that all the time outside of a Starbucks. Yeah. And yeah, you can... Like you can't even see to the right side of you. It's right, full of garbage, or in the back, or anything. Uh -huh. You could only see out the windshield and the driver's side window. Everything else was piled to the roof. Mm -hmm. But like, good luck getting them to explain uh -huh. that to you because it's not going to make any sense. I tried to reasoning. get you to explain it to me. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Because yeah, before she right. had her I car accident, I could see out all my windows barely. <laughs> <laughs> before she had that car accident where she yeah. got rear-ended and her car ended up in the shop, and then she yeah. got a rental uh -huh. from the uh, mm -hmm. from the place. Yeah, and then she which ironically she kept that clean. She kept that clean. Oh, it's not a car, uh -huh. right. And, right? But I just got my car back, and I'm going to keep it so nice. Are you? Yeah. All right, cool. Because you're selling Good. it. Good. Yeah. 
Okay, yes. Yeah. See, so <laughs> of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> but when she has her new car uh-huh. that she's getting, it's going to be so nice. Yeah. See, and this is the delusion I how, live in. How long will you keep it that way? You you kind of sound like how I did before every school year would yeah. start. Yeah, uh, totally. Like my mom would take me out and I'd get, you know, all the new stuff, binders yep. and all the stuff that I would need, folders yeah. and blah, 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 and maybe a new backpack uh-huh. if I was lucky. And uh, I'm going to keep it nice. I'm going to keep it nice. I'm going to oh, keep myself organized. This I'm going to write, <laughs> write down all my assignments. Mm-hmm. Then within yep. like on all three weeks, it was, you know. Yeah, how long until we get bike tires in there? Well, the problem is <laughs> in between myself yeah. and my kid and even sometimes my husband we're just really bad at bringing stuff back in mm-hmm. that we put in wife. the car yeah. like i got a tote bag full of you know i don't know beach towels or picnic stuff or whatever and then like oh i guess this is the new picnic stuff spot like, <laughs> in oh the car my God. i know it's not great but i i'm telling you i can change this is my year uh, same thing i tell my wife like i'll get in her car and it'll be like three days after it was cleaned out the last uh-huh. time and it's like we never cleaned it out the last time yeah. I go, what happened? She goes, well, I'm just busy with kids. I'm like, but okay. whenever you mm-hmm. so park, a lot of people. whether it's in the driveway or you park at the gas store station, or a whatever. gas station, before you get out of the car, look around in right. your immediate area, grab uh-huh. whatever's garbage. Yeah. And as soon as you step out of the gas station, there's a garbage can right there. Uh, grocery store. I do like to do that. I do like to do that. There are garbage cans at every uh, cart corral and at the everywhere. front of the store. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And you just throw it out there. Or that you just fun. bring it into your house. But and throw it away, and it keeps it that way. Right. No, uh-huh. you're totally right. But you know how, like, when you have money, it's like way easier. It's effortless to pay bills. But when you're when you don't, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna keep putting this off. Like, it's the same thing. Like when there's very little in your car, you're like, oh, a water bottle. Allow me to take this to the trash. But when there's more stuff, you're just like, I don't even know what to, where to start. Oh, that oh, is wow. true. Gina, oh, so yeah. how overwhelming. Yeah, what I a know. snowball experience. <laughs> yeah, it's called, okay. uh, right. like you're, it's just snowballing down the hill. Like, I know. Oh, I have so much stuff that it's hard. Did it's I say, to say to it pile. was sane or rational? I'm just giving you a little <laughs> insight like, Greg, into a broken brain. Greg, uh-huh. why wash the dishes? They're just going to get dirty again. They're just going to get dirty yeah, again. Know. Which is Let, funny because I'm constantly, that's all I do. You know, we don't have a dishwasher. Let's use your beach towel example. You have a tote bag full of beach towels. Yeah. Clearly, you just came home from a beach. So when you get home, uh, at some what point. do you do? <laughs> Bring it with you. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I mean, you're getting out of the car it, anyways. It's, it's very You put simple. it in the car, but you, but can't, you can't take it out, out of the car. car. But we'll go Bizarre. to the beach again. Well, uh, yeah, you also go on a vacation again. Exactly. So why unpack? You don't in there. <laughs> well, oh, like when you go to the grocery you store. When you yeah. go to the grocery store don't and you worry. get your groceries, you put them in the car and then you get home and go, well, oh, I'll just leave them there. There's just so <laughs> many of them. If, if there's water bottles, there. bottles, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see this reasoning though because as a guy that spent some time in his car in between jobs, <laughs> I uh, I kept it pristine because I didn't want people to think there was stuff in there to steal. To steal. Oh. Yeah, also that too. That's yeah. Although, I, <laughs> when I see a car like the one Greg saw, I never think to uh, myself, boy, I bet you there's some really good stuff in there. Yeah, no, I no, gotta get in there and I, rummage I, around. Yeah, I'm talking about, about like, I'm yeah. talking about Gina's situation. I'm yeah, sure it's not it's true. at the level of, no. you know. It's not at that level, but, but it's, it's- It was just crap. It was yeah. a t- my in in the back seat. It's like my kid's satellite office. Like fifty comic books coming out of the back seat, like folder thingy with like art supplies and I don't See, know. That looks like something you would might want to steal. Yeah, you know, crackheads would be like, oh, I'm gonna steal. I mean, they'll steal anything. Yeah, that's true. But let's say you're driving down the road and you have a, a Snickers. Yeah, oh, and that you open good. that up and you eat yeah. it. What do you do with the wrapper? When, Out the window. If I'm holding, no, oh, never. Yeah. I would never. Oh, you're do asking that. Gina. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I'm driving, I probably crinkle it up as small as I can and put it in the little handle and you know try On to the door, to throw yeah. it away. And oh, then wow. when you get to well, where, where you're are you going, supposed to put it? You leave it. I'm supposed to eat that too? No, no, no. I'm just no. saying when you get to where you're going, like what do you mean? I do like to do the clean out at the gas station. I'm like, ooh, a, a wrapper. Like, yeah, that doesn't have to go in my house. But you should do that every time you get out of the car. Okay. And you, and, you, and you keep up with it. I'm telling you guys. And you don't get overwhelmed oh, because there's not more than can, three things in there. I can change right. anytime I want. I do sure. that in, uh, with Target. Target's my go-to spot to dump stuff out of the car because <laughs> they always have trash bins right in the front. Now, Menace, take a break for a second. Okay. But uh, what, what do like, what, what uh, psychologists say about people that keep a filthy house or a filthy car mm. that's somehow a reflection of their life? Mm. Right? I am a pretty filthy person. Like filthy brained, but you know what I mean. Like, like, uh, like, like your like your, your, your yeah. life is a mess. If your house is a mess, your car is a mess. Thank you. Then, like, your life in some way is a yeah. mess. Would you say that your life is a mess? I don't know. Does my life look like a mess? I, from the outside, that's not the question. I no, and that's the thing. My the house isn't a mess because my husband won't allow that, which is awesome.
<laughs> so uh, the house is cool, but you know the car is my domain. Mm. Yeah, maybe just it's not that deep. That. Maybe she just doesn't want to do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know what? Meta's God love you. Yeah, <laughs> finally on your side. <laughs> you know, you just when don't it works want for it. her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 when yeah. it works for her, sure. Well, that's don't the thing. Want to. You know yeah. the thing I tell never... me about your childhood trauma that makes you not want well, to bring <laughs> out the <laughs> wrapper out of the car. <laughs> the thing I never, never mention, never bring out is because it is so oversaturated. Is with it people. hereditary? Yeah. It probably with people. Run of the my family. My dad was kind of like that. Your dad was my like whole, that? Whole, dad's whole side of the family. Slobs. We, we never went. In my entire childhood, I was never allowed to go upstairs in my grandmother's house. I was never upstairs. Love Not that. once. Mm. Because yeah, apparently that. the bedrooms were so it full of crap. It was a sex dungeon? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, for that <laughs> so reason. Okay. I'm telling you, I think it it just does run in the genes. But I was diagnosed back when it was brand new with the ADDs. And like they they give you like Cokes on an empty stomach and lock you in a room and make you do like tests for five hours. I mean, not just like, do you feel disorganized? Check here. Like I, this was old school. And I think there's just, there, there's something wrong with my brain. I don't want it to be, but it's right, so one of these. Greg, this flies right in the face of your whole thing about how hoarders, they're not like mental. They're, they're lazy. They're lazy. Yeah. But why can't I be both? But no, because you know what the problem is. Oh, You've yeah. identified it. Yeah. You yeah. know what the solution is. Correct. Good You're just on. not doing it. It's like me for weight loss, right? Kind of, yeah. Like I'll, I'll sit there and I'll, I'll know what you to know do. The answer. I'll know what I'm supposed to be doing. You know I just am lazy and I don't mm. do it. Yeah. Right. I choose not to Maybe do it. Maybe it's that simple And then you can, right. use, you can use what you're talking about there with the, your diagnosis Again, I'm as just an giving excuse you some, I'm just doing some for color keeping commentary. your car sure. filthy. Maybe, but there are other things in my life that I'm normal at and there's other things in my life that i'm <laughs> badass way better than you fools at so this is just one of my things that you know <laughs> right. I ain't working so well <laughs> all right, mm. all right. Yeah. i mean it's you you recognize and you yeah. know the course of action recognize, i can't wait to have a garage i'm gonna put that car in there every there night tuck are. it in like mm. a baby recognize <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> well we got a brand new redneck news the woody show if you ever got a flat tire on your house that's redneck news <laughs> Well, y'all, this happened at a wedding that went from I do to I don't think so real quick Uh-oh. when an all-out brawl broke out. <laughs> Everyone was having a good time until it was time for the bride to toss the bouquet. She tossed the flowers over her shoulder, and that's when the classy bitches out there trying to catch it went wild like seagulls going after a dropped french fry. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a video of this melee online. And you see the whole thing just devolve into an all-out street fight. I mean, oh my God. fists are flying, Over hairs the being torn out, dresses are getting ripped. It's like watching like a full-on WWE SmackDown. I've never understood this. Now, standing just out of the path of danger was someone's granny and the flower girl. They're just like watching this go on. It was super classy. Dudes are on the mic trying to get them to stop. It was just a mess. How sad. <laughs> I I'm I don't know about you, Sammy, but when it's time for the bouquet toss, I never participated. I thought it was too thirsty looking. Yeah, same. No, I don't like to. Or if I do, I'll stand in the back because people start pushing you. Like, yeah. go, I go. Say, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. I'll just stand in the back and duck. Let alone throw I, a punch over it. Right, and start diving. Mm. The girls who dive for it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> desperate. I wanna, and I then they go back to their boyfriend it. and are like, got it. And they're like, yeah. great. Yeah. I mean, like, cool. it'd be fun to try to catch it. That would be fun. Yeah. Really? It'd be really fun. Mm. Yeah. Or you can find me over by the cake. Yeah, so, exactly. Desperate. Or at the bar. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, there you have it. A wedding where a brawl broke out between a bunch of broads who were yanking out hairdos and destroying each other's dresses during the bouquet toss. Yeah. <laughs> and that is today's Redneck News. Pathetic. It is. I bet their cars are messy. It's not that. <laughs> or, or the guy who gets super psyched about getting to take the garter. Because oh, the, cause the oh, dude they, does the garter thing where he takes the garter off his new bride. Thank God I haven't been at a wedding that's and then, done that. And we then tosses that it to time. the single fellas. Right. Usually the DJ's playing that old song, The Stripper. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> and he goes under the <laughs> dress, <laughs> takes yeah, off go, his yeah. teeth. And they go to the woman who caught the bouquet. She's got to sit there while this guy puts his uh, hand in the garter up yeah. her dress to put mm, the garter back right. on her leg now. Yeah. And what? they go, for every inch up you go, it's another year of happiness for the new couple. So you've what? Go yeah. I've never way. heard you've that. You've never heard that? Never. That no. sounds tacky what AF. Going to- oh, dude, I've been to many weddings where that yeah. was the thing. Like, oh. Don't forget what he's spent a lot of time in St. Louis. <laughs> no, 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 these were not St. Louis weddings. I'm not trying to get like digitally mm-hmm. prodded well, at, in front of my wedding guest. But what if it's your best friend's wedding? Yeah. Don't you want her to be happy and married for years? Yeah, I guess You're so. Like, put it on if my that's ankle. the only way. Yeah, a little finger yeah. banging never hurt anybody, Damn. you know? Damn. You know, for a friend. I, I no. <laughs> no. Nah, dog. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. More Woody Show's next. Hang on. The Woody Show will be 